What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with Winston Duke and Lapita Nyong'o. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what they're feeling, what they're not, and then hopefully they're going to buy some sneakers. Yes, yeah, sir. That's the plan. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> I want to start early beginnings of fashion with you guys. Winston, mm -hmm. you were drawing clothes and you had hopes to have your own fashion line. And mm -hmm. Lapita, I read that you were into plaid. You always stuck out from an early age. When did you guys really get invested in fashion and realize it was something that you were interested in? Fashion for me, like my my, my family always you know, are very expressive with color. I'm from the Caribbean, so mm -hmm. color is like in our blood. Growing up in like New York, when we finally came here, like drawing, like you said, was a big thing for me. And expensive shoes mm -hmm. and expensive fashion was always kind of out of reach. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the way I could touch it and dream that I could probably touch it one day, you know, just from my art. Yeah. I, my, I have a very stylish mom. Okay. <laughs> so I was always like so impressed with how she put herself together. And one of my aunts was actually a, a clothes designer. Wow. And so I would draw up the same way. I would mm. draw up my stuff, but my stuff would actually get made. Yeah. Oh. So I, I designed my prom dresses and everything like that. And yeah, again, it's a, I think it's the African yeah. uh, influence because we love, love, love color. And so yeah, the, my clothes were always kind of out there. Definitely, yeah, yeah not what you'd find in the stores. Winston, you're on the beach and you take a picture and you say, yeah. this is what a good morning looks like and you're yes. wearing the bread toes. Yes. Was it about being at the beach or wearing the Jordans or a little bit of both? They are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> exactly. Like I said, being able to like have the shoe that I want and be looking at this beautiful view, to me, that was one of the signs of like accomplishment. I yeah. could wear, I could, I could dress myself and outfit myself the way I want it and see the world the way I wanted to. So mm. that for me, like being near the ocean was another big thing, you know, that feels like home. And the Jordan's ones are always the most classic streetwear shoe, you know, that Definitely. feels at home to me. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the breads. Yeah, classic Definitely breads. Definitely the breads. I want to shift down here just to the threes. Another classic, but one specific thing. Spike Lee just won the Oscar recently, mm -hmm. and Jordan cooked up some gold threes for him yeah. for the Oscars. And, yeah, yeah. you know, the acceptance speech, what was it like to see that? It was lovely to see him in his element, yeah. you know, and dressing as he dresses, bringing yeah. himself and bringing himself to like the glam of the Oscars. Even for me, who knows very little, I knew those were special shoes, right. you know. And it was also great to see him finally recognized yes. for his contributions over all this time. You know what I mean? He essentially raised us, mm -hmm. you know, those, those works raised us and turned us into the artists that we are today because we got to see ourselves Reflected early, yeah. Yeah. early, you yeah. know what I mean? Everyone's talking about this movie. Mm -hmm. The trailer comes out Christmas Day. Two days later, LeBron retweets he can't wait to see it with his family. Now, what's it like for him to be excited, someone of that stature? It just kind of shows that what we do plays in so many different spaces you know what i mean it, it translates into so many different places and lebron's also getting involved in film mm -hmm. and kobe won an oscar right. for his film so it's like all these different worlds are kind of coming together and yeah. blending it's kind of weird when that happens it's mm -hmm. like worlds are colliding it's like yeah. what well, it doesn't make any sense you yeah. know yeah but it's also just the beauty of art right it, yeah. it, it moves because story connects us yeah and absolutely I'm, even in these shoes you see a lot of story mm -hmm. you know what i mean like even with the kobe that, yeah. you know, it tells a little bit of a story about why this is even here is after the injury, mm -hmm. you know, but really yeah. all just like works together. Story is in everything. It connects us all. That's why when they reach out, it's everything. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd be remiss not to mention, not going to give any spoilers, but the color red throughout the movie, <laughs> oh, while yeah. we're here, you know, while yeah. we're here, yeah. the color red throughout the movie plays a big part. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Red yeah. will never be the same. Right. <laughs> no one's going to look at red the same. Exactly. And one thing I want to ask 
when you saw Jordans, you said Jordan wears them. Yeah. And I know Michael B. Jordan, and I think Kugler <laughs> wears them. Are they ever competitive on set with sneakers, or not really? Uh, I don't think we have time usually on <laughs> set because yeah, we're doing but we so do many clock. I mean, there's definitely yeah. moments where you clock what someone's wearing yeah. on their feet, and there's mad respect yeah. given to it. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Jordan uh, will be in like some Air Force Ones. Okay. He likes just clean, simple. Clean, super white. Yeah. His shoes always look Pristine. new. Yeah. I don't Brand know how new. he does it. I mean, maybe they're new. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah that's exactly. what it seems like yeah. with, with Jordan. And he's very proud of his shoes. But. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Lapita went through your Instagram, not in a creepy way. Okay. In a Lies. sneaker in a Lies. in a sneaker research way. <laughs> okay. And the sneakers. Yeah. It's a sportswear brand mm -hmm. out of Kenya. You have supported and have you worn and I looked into it and it seems like they're creating jobs in Kenya. What's it like to support such an initiative and a brand like that? Yeah, I mean I first of all I was so excited to learn that they exist. I they sent me a pair and I was really impressed mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, we have a lot of runners mm -hmm. and we're famous for that. Yes. And it's like, it's about time that we had like a homegrown mm -hmm. sneaker. So I, I like the innovation behind it and decided to support it. Amazing. And Kenya and Africa is not a place where people usually identify where sneakers come from. Right. Yeah, exactly. And it's really great to just also change that narrative that we have our own things. Definitely. Right, and right. we make and, and are creative and you know, all these different things. So in every way, in the large way, in the most nuanced ways, it's, it's saying that we can. Yeah. And the runners who are wearing it are the best in the world. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. You wore a special pair of sneakers on set and Ryan noticed them. Do you remember which <laughs> ones those were? Oh yeah, I was wearing Kendrick Lamar's damn right there. Okay. And uh, yeah, they, I, I thought they were really fly. I didn't know how fly they were right. until Ryan <laughs> clocked them and he was like, oh, you're wearing, uh, what did he go? The, Kung Fu Kenny's? Yes, Kung Fu Kenny's. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was his, you know, his alter ego. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm all about everything Kendrick, so I'm caught up. I'm caught up. Amazing. And that's the thing about Ryan. He's just like, you know, keyed into all different facets of the culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, whether it's shoes, music, you know, just any reference, he's on it. Definitely. Yeah. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Get to browse the shelves, see what oh. you guys are going to leave with. Lovely, right. lovely, lovely. Let's do it. I'll take these in a size 13. Gotcha. Mm, I really like these. These, these are right fire. here. Yeah. That's a good choice. You know, I saw these ones with the sparkle, you know, the, the updated Swarsky ones. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. Yes. These. Got you on that one. And what we got. Oh, uh, let me get these fire joints right here. One of my favorites. Yeah? These yeah. are definitely. Oh, one of those are cute. All right, so for five pairs, guys, your total is $3,259.72. Okay. You're not even going to try. Not even. <laughs> you owe me big when time. When mama's got the sugar, <laughs> <laughs> you let her do it. You know? Thank wow. you so much. Yeah, you thank owe you. me. You owe me. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. You're going to do my bidding for a while now. <laughs> thank you. Every time I see you in those so shoes. much. So, Winston came through, Lupita came through. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you guys run to the theaters to go see us out now. <laughs>